Okay, so in this question, an aircraft is moving horizontally. A parachute leaves, a parachutist leaves the aircraft and a few seconds later opens her parachute. So for some couple of seconds, it is a freely falling body and definitely the drag is happening on it. Air drag is considered here. Okay, that is very important. So which graph shows a variation of the vertical speed V with respect to T for the parachutist from the time she leaves the aircraft until just before landing? Okay, so there is an aircraft that is moving in a horizontal fashion. So the parachutist jumps out of it and after a few seconds, she opens the parachute. Before she opens the parachute, what are the things that will happen? So one thing is sure, according to our formulas, according to Newton, Newtonian science, according to uh, freely falling bodies, the velocity will increase because the acceleration due to gravity is acting on it. The gravity is acting on it. Acceleration due to gravity will take place and velocity is bound to increase. So once the velocity will increase and because the air drag is not neglected, after some time, the the drag force will become equal and opposite to weight. So after some time, the net force that is acting on the body will become zero. It means velocity, whatever velocity the body has attained, it will become constant. It will not keep on increasing. It will be constant because there is a drag there. Okay. So it means first of all, the velocity should increase. Like let us say, let us go for the A option. First of all, the velocity will increase because acceleration due to gravity will happen. Just try to imagine a body here. Immediately, the force due to the earth is mg, but the drag force is not there. It is increasing. And I tell you, the drag force is generally given by the formula k into v. k is a constant and v is the velocity. So basically, it is 6 pi eta r v. But we don't need to go into the formula because like this is a, a detailed formula. You can treat it as kv. So k is a constant and v is the velocity with which the body is moving down. So initially the velocity is not that very high. So the drag force is not equal to weight. Gradually the velocity increases and gradually the drag force increases. And after some time it will come out to be equal to weight. So it will become constant so yeah and this thing is also correct here in this graph first of all the velocity is increasing then it becomes a constant like this and afterwards when she opens the parachute immediately the velocity drops down and it becomes like this so after that also it will keep on moving with a constant velocity so this a should be the correct answer b is wrong c is wrong and D is definitely wrong because velocity cannot become negative. Negative velocity means that the body, the parachutist will start moving upwards and that is not possible. So definitely A is going to be of an answer. In this question, the concept of drag force is used and this is a very important formula. Uh, this is known as viscous force. I don't know whether this is covered in your syllabus or it is covered in your school by your teacher or not. But this formula is 6 by eta r v drag force. Uh, viscous force is also, this is also known as viscous force. Yeah. Eta is known as coefficient of viscosity. Like if it is not required, fine. No problem and uh, just know it and v is the velocity r is the radius of the body so this is a general formula that we use uh, in fluid mechanics so for this time fd is equal to constant multiplied by v will be sufficient for us okay so all the best bye